Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here at .NET Nuke Corporation. In this brief video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade from the community edition of .NET Nuke to the professional edition. We'll go through some of the features that .NET Nuke Professional offers over the community edition, and then I'll show you the upgrade process itself. Now, from a features perspective, .NET Nuke Professional offers granular permissions, meaning at the page and the module level, you can more granularly define who can access certain features of a page and modules. It also offers advanced site search capabilities, an advanced document library, customi customizable workflows within the HTML module, advanced web farm and caching support. If you have the .NET Professional Edition license, you also have access to a developer license of the Telerik RAD controls. Support for .NET New Professional Edition is provided through the .NET New Corporation, and there are many more features not listed here on the screen. Now the process for actually performing an upgrade is the same as you would perform if you were upgrading a standard version of .NET Nuke from one version to the next. In our case, we're actually staying with the same version, 5.6. We're just upgrading from the Community Edition to the Professional Edition. So that process entails downloading the upgrade package and then extracting the upgrade package. You always want to back up your website and your database before you perform any sort of an upgrade. And then we'll go through the upgrade process, which will actually install all, the, all of the files for the .NET New Professional Edition. So here in our window, we have a clean .NET New 5.6.0 site running .NET New Community Edition. And I can find that by going to the host extensions page. And we see under the framework option, we're, we're running version 5.6. Dot .NET New Community Edition. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to extract the zip file that contains the upgrade package for .NET, .NET New Professional. Now one thing that you should always check before you extract a zip file is you should check if Windows is blocking the file. You can do that by right clicking on the file and choosing properties. On the property screen here we can see that this particular file is not being blocked. But if we were to take a look at the Professional 5.6 install package by looking at the properties on that file, we would see that there's a, a message down here that says the file is being blocked. So we want to go ahead and click on the unblock if we were to run into that case. Now we're going to go ahead and extract the upgrade package. And I'm just going to extract it into a file right here within this particular folder. And I'll pause the video while that extraction takes place. Now, once the extraction is complete, we can see the collection of files here for the upgrade package. Now, before we actually use these files, I'm going to go back over to the folder where our website is located, and I'm simply going to make a copy of that folder. Now, I installed this .NET Nuke version with the web platform installer in a previous video, which installs it into inetpub www root into a folder called .NET Nuke. Now, I'm going to right-click on that folder, I'm going to choose Copy, and I'm going to Paste. And what this will effectively do, if I go ahead and hit continue here because I need administrator permissions, what this will do is go ahead and make a backup of the file system of our .NET Nuke website. Now because we're also running our website on the SQL Express version of Microsoft SQL Server, the database is within the .NET Nuke folder. So by backing up this folder, making a copy of it, we're also backing up the database. Now for using a full version of SQL Server, you should go to the database server and you should perform a backup of the database there. With SQL Express, it just makes it that much easier and faster to perform your file system and your database backup all in the same process. So we're making a copy of that file so that we'll have it available if we need to do a rollback at some point. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go into the .NET Nuke folder and from there I'm going to copy all of the upgrade package files which I have open in another window press Control A to select all, right click and choose copy, go back to the .NET Nuke folder in www root, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go ahead and paste. Press Control V on the keyboard and that will do the paste. Now, when you're pasting all of these files, there are a number of files that are going to get overwritten. So we need to go ahead and tell Windows yes to go ahead and overwrite these files. And you might be prompted with that a few times, so you want to go ahead and just copy and replace on all of those various prompts. Now I'm performing this upgrade on a 
website that's running locally on my computer. There's no one else hitting the website. So I don't really have to worry about someone else hitting the website during this kind of copy process. For more advanced upgrade options, check out some of our future videos. Once the files are done copying, then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and navigate back to our website. Now once the files are done copying, we'll go ahead and navigate back to the website. Now because we just placed a number of new files in the .NET Nuke folder, the website in IIS, our web server, actually has to restart. So it's going to take a moment for everything to load back up here. Now because we're upgrading from Community Edition to Professional Edition, but we're staying with the same version number, 5.6.0, the upgrade process is somewhat different. We can still access the website, and it still says we're running Community Edition here. But what we need to go ahead and do is we need to tell .NET Nuke to complete the upgrade. Now we're going to do that by going to localhost slash .NET Nuke slash install slash install dot ASPX. And we're going to type in question mark mode equal install resources. So what this is going to do is this is going to tell .NET Nuke to go ahead and install all of the .NET Nuke Professional Edition extensions. If we go ahead and hit enter, it should fire off that installation process. Now we'll see a number of different messages here as it goes through that installation process. And we should see a success message by most of those. Now if we see any red or error messages, we'll want to then look into what those errors are and what caused them. But we should be able to go through the upgrade process here pretty basic and pretty easily and see all success messages. Now once it's done, we'll get a message at the bottom of the screen. We can click on a link that will take us back to our website. You can see installation is complete. And if we scroll down, we can click here to access the portal. Now when we access the portal, it'll take us back to localhost slash .NET Nuke. Out of the box, it's still going to look like the .NET Nuke Community Edition. It's not replacing the logo because we already had an existing website running. Had we done a fresh install of .NET Nuke, it would have replaced the logo. It would have also used a .NET Nuke professional skin as opposed to the Community Edition skin. But because we did an upgrade, .NET Nuke does not assume that you want to replace your skin and replace your logo. So you can see here, it still looks like the same site we saw before. But if we go to the host extensions page now, on the extensions page under the framework option, we should see a message that tells us we're running .NET Nuke Professional Edition 5.6.0. We can see we have that particular edition, same version number, currently running. Also underneath the host menu, we'll find that there's a professional features option that shows up. And within our control panel, where we once had the HTML module, we now have the HTML Pro module listed. So we know that we've completed the upgrade to .NET Nuke Professional Edition from a clean install of .NET Nuke Community Edition. Thanks for watching the video. For more information about .NET Nuke, please feel free to check out .NET You can also check out our training page using the shortcut URL listed here on the screen. This URL is case sensitive. We provide a number of free videos out there. Also, we have instructor-led online training and custom online and on-site training options. Again, this was Chris Hammond with .NET New Corporation. Thank you for watching the video.